Okay, coach, again me. So, next topic is secondary offense. First, uh, Charles gave me a good introduction in my argument now. First of all, maybe we must explain to the players, but also to young coaches, what's mean secondary offense or early offense. This is the organized continuation of the fast break. So that means that secondary offense is between 4 and 10, maximum 12 seconds. Secondary offense also means to include all five players. Because if you speak about fast break, fast break is organized and execute only with three players. When fourth and fifth players arrived, we are already in secondary or early offense. And of course, uh, first, we must explain why we want to play secondary offense. Which benefits from secondary offense we, we have. Like uh, Charles said, must be organized. This is not run and gun. This is organized fast basketball, basketball or quick basketball. So we must define rule, rules for all five positions. This is the first goal and after that we should run. Uh, in today's session I will, I will show you uh, secondary offense options with screens because we agree with organizers with screens which I use with my under 16 and under 17 Serbian national team. We won a bronze medal on European and World Championship under 16 and under 17. And what is important that watching the games after the both championships in two years, we score 55% of our, of our points from this secondary offense. So that means that if you run this, you can have a lot of benefits, especially because with teams, of course, you have more time with, with national teams. We spend only five, six years, five, six weeks before the championship. So it will be easy for you if you can use that in daily work with your team. Of course, if you have, uh, if you have good volume of the practice, and unfortunately, they told me that they in under 18, they do just free practice per week. I'm working with the kids in, in Serbia in under 14. We have five practice and one game. So free practice is like recreation, like fitness. This is not enough. Uh, but why we want to play a secondary break? Uh, when we start, first of all, because uh, it's very hard to prepare defense against fast break and secondary break. So no scouting against fast break. So you can play prepared scouting report against five and five on the half court, set offense. No against fast break and secondary break. After that, uh, playing, in, uh, playing fast speed basketball, you can find a lot of good solution in offense. This is the second, second, uh, second rule, second benefit from the secondary break, break. After that, so easy shots under the basket. Good open shots in transition. Also, much more from transition than from five and five game because in today basketball, especially in Europe, you cannot find a lot of good, good shots after 10, five, 10, 15 seconds because defense cuts everything. They they make obstruction of any kind of offense, so it's not so easy to arrive uh, to, to have good, good shots. After that, uh, you can run secondary break with 12 players. This is very important, especially in youth program because you have not so big difference between players and you must use all 12 players on the court to play that. So it's not so easy. Like in set offense, you have specific rules for one, three, four, five. Uh, but in secondary offense, you can use both players. And of course, always when and how to play. Always after defensive rebounds, so after missed shot from opponents. Always you must insist on fast break when perimeter players catch defensive rebounds. Because this is like uh, after outlet pass. So always when perimeter players catch rebounds, the three point line level must be fast break anyway. You must assist on fast break because you already have two seconds more than when big guys catch defensive rebounds because this is like outlet pass made. So this is very important to understand when and how we want to play uh, secondary break. Results, excellent physical preparation, high speed of fundamentals. This is very important, but you work, if you insist on secondary break and fast break in your daily practice, daily routine, your players will improve your speed physically, but also way of thinking and speed of mental, uh, of uh, problem solution thinking. So it's very important because of that. After that, playing in fast break and secondary break, you can have good initial positioning for set offense. This is also very important because, like I said, is initial position and offensive balance. So, uh, 
we, I didn't agree with Charles about the initial schedule, but he, he showed the same system. So I will try now to show with five players this system. We, I have not time to explain you how to open fast break, so we will start from half court with five players. So please, five players here. First, we should define corridors in the fast break. How we must run? One, two, three, four, five. So, let's think that we start from this position. Okay, let's go. Let's start from here. Four and five under the basket. Two, three, it doesn't matter. You are the same. Who is five? Who is four? You are five, he is four. So, let's think that's player on position five. Pass the ball to him. He catch rebound. Just put the ball on the glass and stop. So, now we have different options how to open fast break. But anyway, uh, I want to, to give you my idea how to cover five corridors. So we have five corridors on basketball court, watching like this. From sideline, this one, from here to elbow, elbow to elbow, and two corridors on this side. So in this situation, when he starts to dribble, when he, when he catch rebounds, he must pass first pass outside, of course, second pass in the middle. You are point guard, let's go run now. And now, in the fast break, we have three players. This is the fast break. If he pass the ball here, from this situation, this is the fast break. Everything after is secondary break. Because if he pass the ball and may give and go or something, this is the fast break with three players. When first trailer, like player on position four, starts to run, and second trailer, you're a little bit behind, that is the beginning of the secondary or early offense. So in this situation, I prefer to have my point guard in the middle corridor before the half court. But after that, when you decide to make pass, for example, of this side, just because of coach, coaches, you must move on this lateral corridor. This is your second one. First trailer, all players on position four, you must use this central corridor. You must run under the basket. And when you run under the basket, you immediately must be open here. If the ball is on this side, you must be ready to receive the ball here. If the ball is going, going on opposite side, you must go on to this side. So, free positioning, initial positioning. Two lateral players, two and three side corridors. Player on position four, ball side low post, or better, like I said this morning, middle post. Ball side middle post, point guard here ready to receive the ball, and second trailer he, here on the elbow on the help side. So this is the same initial positioning like Charles showed you before. So absolutely the same. But in the beginning of the offense, let's move back, please. I want to have covered free positioning when I start offense. First position is free throw lie extended with guard. Second position is middle post, and th third position is elbow on opposite side. But in the beginning, I don't want immediately my guy stopped here. So let's go just first three players, please. First three players. So I want him run to the basket. Don't wait to the ball here. Run under. And now if you cannot receive the ball, now move back and receive the ball here on the free throw line extended. OK? This is your job. Don't stop here. So run there or run there. And after they do go back, for you the same. First, you must run under the basket. Take the ball over there. Please go back, everybody. So player on position four. I'm a four right now. Let's go first three players. If I'm four, I'm watching him. If he passes the ball there, my move is like this. I'm on the ball side, low post. If, you, if he passes the ball on the right side, he should be here ready to receive the ball and to score. OK. And you are always in opposite side. So this is initial positioning. So in the beginning, I don't want to have this position cover because what's happened? If he stops like this here, defense will play here, and he will go to receive the ball over there. From this position, he cannot shoot the ball. He cannot pass the ball. He, not, he cannot do anything. But if the ball is over there, run to the corner or here inside, go to make V-cut on me. Now, from this position, he can shoot the ball, and he is in very good position to pass the ball to the big guy. I prefer to have in offense passing line. So that's mean. Player with the ball, of course, without chewing them. Please, full sprint over there, put out this, because you can be dead after five minutes if something wrong happened. Sorry. So I prefer to have 
these passing lines. So guard, it doesn't matter if this one, two or three player, big guy and basket must be on the same line. This is the responsibility more from, for him. So if you are here, it's not so easy to pass the ball to him because if you are here, defense is play like this. But if you stay on this line, same line with me, I can play here on here, but he is open to receive the ball. So we start with this initial positioning and with secondary break, we have four things important for every single offense. First, initial positioning, we have this, let's move back and you go in the corner on this side. Good spacing, good timing and different kind of entries. From this starting position, and we, we arrive in this position after the fast break with two, three, four players. From this positioning with uh, my national team, I create all plays for every single position. I will show you now two different way of secondary offense and uh, two plays for each position, for one, two, three, four, five. Everything from same initial position because of st scouting. Especially in European and World Championship for youth, it's not so easy to prepare scouting night by night. But if you once start with one, four, it's easy for them to see. This is one, four, that's mean fist, for example. But if you always start from the same initial positioning, it's not so easy for opponent team to prepare something against you. So, let's start with options. First option is when point guard pass the ball always, you'll be on, the, your, on your position, you'll be here, let's think that we arrive here, be on your side. When he pass the ball to him, first way to scoring, and you insist on that. And this pass must be made from here, because we don't speak about set offense. From here, when he received the ball, he must have passed the ball here. First option is for player on position one, just simple give and go. So just simple give and go, if you can pass ball to me, pass to me, and you score. Let's try to show all options. So just pass to him, give and go, and you score, okay? Let's go, just slowly. Just give and go, so it's good spacing, give and go, and pass for him. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Second option, when you receive the ball, pass to him, you immediately, when you receive the ball, turn and score, okay? Let's go, let's go, pass the ball. Pass the ball immediately, play for him, play one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody can help. Good facing. Let's go back again, it's just half court. Next option, when you receive the ball, shoot for free. We play for you, he's a good shooter, player on position two, he must shoot the ball. For me as a coach, I spoke with Charles before, I prefer to take this shot, because it's too easy for a good shooter to score alone, then after five or six staggered screen, one, one, up and down. It's, it's not so easy for defense, but also for offense. He must score, you know. So if you are alone, you can take your shots. Okay, let's go. Pass ball to him, and he can shoot the ball. Pass ball to him. If he is alone, he can shoot. Go back. Go back. Now, for free, pass ball to free and shoot the ball. He must shoot the ball, okay? You take your shot. Okay. And now let's play a little bit for the second trailer. Uh, of course. Uh, players on position four and five, they are changeable. So who is the first trailer? It's always first trailer, the big guy who didn't catch defensive rebound. It doesn't matter if he's four or five. So first trailer is always the big guy who didn't catch rebound. Second trailer, always the guy who catch rebound. It doesn't matter if he's four or five. Absolutely the same, especially a new program should be absolutely the same. Okay, let's run everybody here. Now, pass ball to him and make your give and go cut and you pass to him. So first him, no, no, you must go from this position, from this position you run here and you receive the pass and score. Please, one hand uh, bounce pass because this is important for him, it's too easy for big guys when he make full sprint to receive the bounce pass then direct pass because of traveling, you know, they are not so well skilled, not him but all big guys on position five. Okay, let's go. Just stay wide, stay wide. Good spacing, pass the ball to him, pass the ball to him. It's too late, it's too late. Go back, go back. You pass the ball from here, from here. From here, pass the ball. You wait a little bit. Wait, wait a little bit, I will tell you when you must start. Let's go, do the same. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, now. This is the real game situation. So first trailer, second trailer this. Next option for him, go back. 
bounce pass, right hand. Next option for him is pass the ball to four and you pass to five. Okay, let's go. Just slowly. Just slowly. First proper execution, after that speed. Let's go, point guard, pass. Go, 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 go. No, no, point guard. You do always the same. Give and go and go to the corner. Opposite corner, you move here. Okay, when he received the ball, it's also a good option for him to make or backdoor cut. Okay, or take the ball here and shoot the ball from the free throw. Options for him. Let's do one more time, please. Let's go. You always do the same. Pass the ball and go in the opposite corner, okay? Okay, let's go. Full sprint. Yes, so you can see now nobody can help. All those options. We don't have to call this. This is the fast break. We don't need to say one, two, three, four, five, fist, blue, yellow. No. This is the continuation of the fast break. We arrive in this situation with same initial schedule. Okay. Let's think that we didn't score from that. So we have a lot of options. Now we start with secondary offense. Take your position just for the half court and we will try to show uh, all options. Let's go here. So, corner please. Good spacing, but when we speak about the corner, it's important to teach the players don't be in bad initial positioning. So corner don't mean be here. Because from here he is dead. Player here. So he must be on the rim level in order to have baseline drive too. So corner means here. They are in the he is in free throw line extended, so very good spacing for to start with. First option which I use with my team. Uh, I use that because player on position free. My player on position free, it was very good guy, very good shooter, very good player. I, we play for him. So let's do the same right now. When you pass the ball to him, you make your jab. Okay. Run. You, you must go here. You go down. You go down. You must receive the screen from him. Okay. Pass the ball to him right now. So watch now. At the same moment when we do something, he is alone. So you can play also with him. It's good isolation. And after that, when you set screen, one more screen for him. You go this way, I'm rolled to the basket, you go up and you go down. Okay, let's try to do this slowly. Did you catch everything? Okay, let's go. And try to find, try to find uh, five, but four to five. Okay, let's go. Just slowly, pass the ball to him, go, let's go, big guy, screen, screen. This is the first option, shooting for him. No shoot for him, pass to him or pass to four and uh, shooting guard is in the corner. One more, one more time, please. Just must be coordinated. So, when he, after this second screen, when he start to go this way, you must go here and you must go over there. Always at the same time. You must watch him. This is the teamwork. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. One more time. Yes, this is a good. Now do the same, but pass ball to him. And he will pass to him. It's important to understand positioning of the screen. Uh, if he set the screen here, it's not good because his shooting range is not from here. So this first screen must be made on elbow position. Especially if defenders follow him, he can, he can make curl cut and receive the ball and shoot. So first option is shoot for him. After that, you set one screen again, you receive the ball and pass bound pass for him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is just, we don't need to call it. We just run this because this is the secondary break. Okay, let's go. Immediately is not good timing. One screen again, you move like this. So you can see now nobody can help. Because if the player who guards player on position four goes to help, he is alone to free. If his guy comes to catch you, he is alone in the corner. So good spacing is key point. Okay, let's do one more time, please. But pass the ball to him and bound pass to him. Okay, and you stay in the corner. Okay, let's go one more time, please. Stop now. So, we can see now, if you want to insist on the five, now it's good positioning for him. If he cannot pass the ball to him, maybe defender is over there. Pass the ball to him. And now you go to me and you can receive the ball. So, if defender pass the ball to him, if defender is very good, maybe he play like this. You move ball on this side, 
and after that you open, you are alone. So nobody can help if you have good spacing. But always good spacing means like this. Of course, this player on position four must be able to shoot from elbow. This is your job. Okay, let's do one more time, but pass the ball to four. And when you receive the ball from this position, let's play handoff, dribble handoff with you. Okay? But in that moment, when you play handoff, when you roll to the basket, you move up and you, you move down. Okay? You understand? Let's try slowly when I say stop, stop. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Same, point, same, same beginning, same start. Let's go. Start. Play. Pass to four. Stop right now. So we play here like this, in this situation, in this situation, because we want to make isolation for two players on this side. So he must go up. And you just change position with him. Because if you change position, defense cannot help. So in this situation, you can pass to him, you can shoot, or you can pass to five. Pass to five, pass to him, and you can find him with mouse pass under the basket. Okay, let's try to do this. We finish with high-low collaboration with five to four. Okay, let's go. So, no call. Screen. Pass to him, no pass for him, box out, so you can see nobody can help. It's simple pick and roll isolation. If we have this pick and roll isolation after two free passes, this is not run and gun. This is organized secondary break. Very difficult for defense to play. Okay, second option. It's very similar. Like I said before, we start from the same initial positioning. We do the same on this side. So he passed the ball, you go a little bit up, a little bit up. Now, pass the ball to five, pass the ball to five, so you go to receive the ball. Now, one, he make back screen for you. First option is receive the ball for him, and after that, hand off, and now screen, you come to make screen for me. You go in the corner. After that, you open out, and he open in. So, my principle, it was that player on position five, big guy, rule, it's easy for players. He must roll to the basket always. Player on position four, pop out. It doesn't matter in which position he says it's too easy for them to catch. Okay? We can try this. So you can catch. You can make back screen. If you don't receive the ball, change side. You'll be on your position. Hand off with him and pick and roll. You down, you up. After the screen, pop out on this position. Okay, let's go. No, no, no. Oh. You must pass to five. Let's go. When you receive the ball, pass to five, and you, you stay, receive the ball here, and hand off, dribble hand off for him. So here, and you roll to the basket, and you come to me, set screen for one. OK, let's go. Stop, stop, stop. So back screen for him. In this moment, it's fundamentals. So he. He knows that he will receive back screen. So in this situation, he will not wait here. He will go to the ball. Play defense on me here. He will go to the ball in the moment when I ask the ball here, when he goes there, this is the right timing to set screen on this side. So I fake and I'm going to the opposite side to receive, not this pass, bounce pass. So after that, go up, go there, and you, after the screen, immediately you are ready to receive candle pass from him. Okay, go immediately to set screen from the opposite side. You first in the corner, and when he arrives in the corner, go back. Let's go, guys. We have same options like before. Back screen, hand off, pick and roll, go out. So again, very good, very easy isolation for you. Let's do the same, but now you pass to four, and you from this, pos from this position pass to him. Okay, uh, why I insist on the inside game? Every time on the beginning of the game, I want to put the ball under the basket. First, because of my confidence as a team. It's too easy to score under the basket than from free. First, after that, I want to see how they play pick and roll defense. Third, I want my big guy to have ball under the basket. Maybe, to, maybe opposite uh, big guy will make some foul in the beginning of the game. So always first, Three, four possession, I insist to put the ball under the basket. Let's go one more time. Five to four. Four to five. Okay? Let's go. So, if you catch, it's the same positioning like before. 
So hand off, hand off with one, go under, pass to four, and four to five. Nobody can help because of very, very good spacing. Okay? This is a very good. Okay, let's move, let's move back again. Uh, let's change position five and far. You go there, you go there. You do the same. Hand off, you go up, but always after this hand off, you open out. After screen, you, op you roll to the basket. Okay? Can you do? Just slowly, guys. It's very difficult to catch everything, but just try to do it slowly. Okay, let's go. For you, same. Hand off, hand off, hand off, and pops out, pop out, roll. So again, we have good isolation, or from this side, or from this side, for big guy under the basket. It's very, very difficult, very difficult for defense to play. This is the second option. Let's go back in the beginning. Remember, everything starts from the same position. Everything from same position. Now, we want to play something for uh, different positions. So, let's show first two plays for him. Two plays for him. This second option. Okay, we start with the same. Let's start to do the same when I say stop, stop. Just stop in the corner over there. Stop in the corner. Okay, pass ball to him. Or right, right now, right now we can do this. When the ball is over there, first screen, first screen for him, you. Second screen for him, you go there. You go out and you go in. So, isolation for point guard here. I don't like my point guard to play there or there. His natural position is here. He must be stronger here. Okay, so, second screen for him. Let's move back uh, five and four. Do you understand everything? So immediately, screen, you first, you second. Okay, let's go. Pass to him, pass to him, go in the corner, go there, first three, stop. Why first three and after five? Because of switch. Last screener on his tagger screen should be big guy, because it's five, one. If defender switch here, if I'm switching, let's go out. Number one, roll to the basket. So it's under the basket, five against one. Easy to score. Okay, let's do one more time, but when you receive the ball, shoot the ball immediately. Okay. After that, he can play one-on-one, -on -one because in, in defense, we cannot speak about freedom. In offense, of course, yes. He catch the ball, roll to the basket, roll to the basket, so we can have this situation. Let's do one more thing now. When you receive the ball, you roll to the basket, you go up, you receive and pass to five. Okay? Okay? Let's do the same. So, stagger at screen, three and five for one. Go out, roll, roll, big guy. So, you can see here now, again, very, very easy. Very, very easy for him. Okay. Go back in the beginning. After two offenses, team will play, like Charles says, scout. Big guy, uh, small guy who hurt him will be here. Let's do the same. Start. Just pass to him. Okay, let's go here. After that, if I saw that he's gone, I will be on this side. Because I don't want to let him go this way. Okay. In this moment, we just change simple things. So, pass ball to five. You go first. And you go second screen on opposite side for you. When you receive the ball, open immediately, you jump to the ball, again, shoot for him, pick and roll, or 101. It doesn't matter what you play. So let's try to do this. Okay. We call this just one left, one right. It's nothing so, so difficult, because everything starts from the same position. Let's go. Let's go, do it again. Let's go, pass to five. First two, after four, you go out, so he can stop now. Now we can do whenever you want. They can, he can shoot, he can play pick and roll, he can pass to create high low situation. So it doesn't matter what, but what want, but he wants to do one on one. Okay, let's try to shoot. We play for you. First this way, and after that second way. Shoot the ball when you receive. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First catch and shoot the ball. Roll, shoot the ball, or play one on one. Okay, let's go. One right. One right, when you pass, go first you. Second option. Okay, pass to P, five, let's go. First screen, 
first screen, second screen, you go out, so you can see how is good spacing right now. It's also a good situation for all of players. So this is the, there are the two options for player on position one. We'll go back on the beginning. Have you got any question about it? Of course, everything depends also of execution. Sometimes we must do something differently, but let's start to be like this. Okay, now we want to play for him. Uh, somebody can ask me, okay, coach, what's happened if I cannot, if they play the night defense on him, if I cannot pass the ball to him? No problem. I will go with dribble. You go over there. We do the same. So you just continue to make his job. Now it's difficult to catch, but just exchange position between two players. So if they play the night defense on him, he cannot pass the ball. You just go, like I said before, show left hand, go away, you dribble here, and you go to the corner, we play the same with him. So it's very simple for players on position one and two to catch. Go back on initial positioning. First option for him. Uh, I had in my team uh, the guy on position two, two meters. He was very good under the basket, always mismatch, because a lot of players on position two are one meter ninety, something like that. So I prepared two options for him, one inside, one outside. So first, very, very simple option for him after two passes is, so you pass the ball to five and go to get handoff and you set back screen for him. Back screen for him, so immediately you just stay like here because you play for him, okay? At the same moment, when he passed to him, you go to set screen here. From this position, you just step out two steps, you go here and go behind. You receive the ball, bounce past left hand with you, you stay here wide because you want to play for him. You stay wide in your position. Okay, let's go. So this is the two, two sides, two down. Let's go. Pass to him, let's go, let's go. Immediately in the moment of the receiving, he has good position to play. Classical, simple back screen from this side. One more time, please. So you can see spacing, nobody can help. If they switch, super, we have four here. Let's, let's do the same. Now, when you cannot pass the ball to him, pass to five and you go down to receive the ball after that. Okay, let's go, let's go. So he can pass, go down. So if they switch, we have four against two under the basket. So again, good solution for us. Next option for player on position two. On position two is simple pick and roll. So pass the ball to him. You go to make screen, but in the, you do the same. You do the same because we want to have go in the corner. We want to have help side engage him because they must play, take care about stagger and screen, maybe like before for him. And you play pick and roll. But in pick and roll, in this situation, start again, please. Let's go again. I will be four just for the moment to show to you. It, details are very important. So go there, we cut, receive the ball. When he receives the ball, you go stop now. I don't like my players to come directly to him because he has no possibility to score. I prefer play defense on me, please. I prefer my player on position four in the moment of the receiving to move on the elbow. So in this moment, he has possibility to drive to play one on one on this side. Okay, immediately when you receive, you know that. And after that, from elbow, I'm going to play pick and roll on the free throw line level. So this is one moment, it's very important because we open space for our best score, player on position two. Okay, let's try to do you move here when you receive the ball immediately drive and score. Okay, start from the beginning. And pass the ball, do the same. So stop, watch now. Watch now how is good spacing for him. So he can drive and after that, next option is pick and roll. Let's do now pick and roll from this side. Of course, on pick and roll, on pick and roll, you may, you may, from, at the same time, you may stay at the screen. You go out. If they play pick and roll, you can receive the ball one and pass the ball to four after pick and roll. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. A lot of information, but for the moment they catch everything. Okay, stop. So you can see now, three players are engaged in staggered screen defense on the help side, and they play on this side. One more time, please. Sorry. Let's go.
pitcher roll, so you can see right now nobody can help with simple two against two. Side pick and roll without any possibility to help from the help side because they play uh, defense against figure screen to this side. Next option for player of position two is if I cannot pass the ball to him, so I'm going to drive, you go to the corner, you go here a little bit, I'm dribble here. Now one screen and second screen on the elbow for him and you change side. You change side, go this way, go over there, receive the ball, you stay here. So we have player on position two alone to play one on one on the left side. Okay? Immediately when you receive the ball, immediately try to score. Okay? Let's go. It's important to have first screen must be over there, second screen must be on elbow. Like I said, first here, you go in the corner. Okay, now go over. Over this way, this way. So you go out, I'm going out, pass the ball to him over there, and you play one on one. Okay, or try to score. Just catch and, and drive. Okay, this is the next option, of course, for player on position two. Uh, I had, uh, I create this play because he was left handed. So his strong side, it was on the left side. He play, he's better to drive on the left than on the right. So I create play for him, ex exactly for him. Okay, let's do the same. So immediately when he received the ball, so immediately he play like this. Or next option for him, when he received the ball, you move back and play pick and roll with him again. Okay, so. Set screen and go to open and you go over there after that. Okay, let's go one more time this. So this is fourth option for player on position two. Let's go, quickly, quickly guys, quickly. Full speed, go with dribble, go back, pick and roll, you go up, he go down, yes, something like that. So again, good position for him. If he is good shooter, he can shoot after the screen or he can pass the ball to the player on position, on position uh, five. Okay. Now we must play for him. He is a player on position three. First, uh, three down. If you remember, same situation like before. So go over there. I go here, you receive the ball. You receive the ball. I set screen for him. Usually, defense switch in this moment. Because it's screen between one and three. When he goes over there, stop on the low post. We have three, he can pass the ball to him. Or he, you go up, you go down. Watch now. I can pass ball to him. Go back. He can pass ball to him directly. Yes, go a little bit wide, number four. Pass to four. Stop. If I'm playing like this, so after this ball pass is over there, pass to him. If I'm playing like this, pass the ball to him. Okay, stop, take ball. If I'm here, like this, pass the ball to him, you receive the ball here, so again, it's very easy job for him. This is the 4-3. So, okay, let's try to do one more time this. You pass the ball to him here. Okay? This is free down for player of position, free on the low post. Let's go, they switch. Immediately he can receive the ball and score. You can see the space is like in water polo. We have one player down and four players out. Nobody can help. Next option for him. We already made that. So, same situation. Pass the ball here, you go down. Now, me and you, we make second screen for him. Go over there, I set screen, you set second screen, go up, go down, and he can shoot the ball. He is a shooter. He can shoot, pass to four, pass to five, or pass to two. Okay, let's go now first, get your shoot. Okay? Catch and shoot, this is great possibility for him to shoot the ball. Okay, one more time, please. When I say stop, stop. Okay, stop, go out. If he is not ready to shoot from this position, he can play pick and roll with him or better with him. Because this is 3-4, they can switch, so it's better to play against with him. Roll to the basket, four, go out. So you can hit and can pass to him or to him. Very good action for him. Let's try to pass the ball to four and you find five. Okay, so we play for free, but of course we have possibility to put the ball also under the basket for a player on position five. Let's do this. 
If he can shoot, immediately pick and roll. Pick and roll with him. This side, yes. Roll. Now you can see this. Same situation. Same situation like before. Pass to me, please. If he cannot receive the ball for me, pass to him and he can pass to him again. So it's just two, one or two extra passes, but easy passes. Everything starts from the same position. Go back. If defender on free play, like after two offenses like this, we do the same like before. Pass the ball to him. So now, now you receive the ball out, pass the ball to him, and you do first screen, second you go this way, and you use stagger screen on this side, you can play again for shoot. Very simple, you know, it's very similar like player for one. Let's do this. Practically, we have three options, three options for each position. Let's go. So this is the free right. Let's go first. So go pass to him. First two. After that, four. Yes, go and shoot the ball. Of course, in this situation, let's go pass the ball to him. Pass the ball to him. Be over there. Set first screen. After this screen, go back for you. Play defense on me, please. Go to help on him. If he goes to help, I'm ready. Just flash cut or if defender stay here, if defender don't help, if defender is on this position, just swim, move here, and I receive the ball and score under the basket to free the space for him to play. Continuation again, pick and roll with him, but this is advanced option after that. Let's do one more time. First option down for him, and after that, just this side. Okay, let's go. Let's go. First down. Down. Let's go. No, no. Down. Back screen. One, two, four, three. And you are under the basket. Okay? Back screen. Five. Receive the ball. Back screen. So pass to him. Pass to him. It's for, for you. For free. Under the basket. Okay. Now do the same, but now you use this screen. Okay? Now pass the ball to him on this side. Okay? So it's very difficult for defense, and like I said before, it's very easy for offense. First two, after that four, and he received the ball in his shooting range, he can score. Let's go to play for him right now. Same positioning. Everything is same, but you can see that I show more than 20 options till now. So first option for him is simple pick and roll. Just pass ball to him. You make your job, make something, you go to make screen for him, pick and roll with him, and isolation for player on position four under the basket. So in this moment, you can pass the ball to him, or you can pass to five, and you pass to him. Okay, let's try to do first you. Use pick and roll, and pass, bounce pass, left hand to him. Of course, it's very important to teach also the guards. Pass the ball to me, please. So, when I receive the ball, stop, play defense against me. I don't need to wait like this, waiting for him. When I receive the ball, I must make some opposite, some move in opposite side of incoming screen. So, in the moment of the receiving, I must do like this. So, th this is just enough to move him, and after that, he set screen, I make two dribbles, and I pass the ball to him. So, it's very important how to prepare pick and roll, because usually, young players, when they know that they will play pick and roll, when they receive the ball, they stop like this, say wait. So defense is here, it's not so easy. So always, especially if you have live ball, if you didn't use dribble, make some fake in this way, it's opposite way, two dribbles, bounce pass of the dribble. Okay, let's do now the same, but pass to five and five to four. So it's, you can, nobody can help, very good spacing. If this guy, player on position four, is a good shooter, if he can score from middle range, pops out. So upper, after the screen, here, roll here. Receive the ball and shoot from here. Okay, depends on his quality. It's up to you to decide. Of course, also player can see if he scores five times outside, okay, let him shoot one more time, why not? Let's, let's do it like this. So pop out, pass the ball to him, and shoot the ball when you receive. When I say stop, stop. Stop. 
pass the ball to him. So watch now how is good position for offensive rebound. So in this moment, in this moment we have three players on defensive, on offensive rebound because statistics show, shows to us that 65-70% of the missed shot from this side is going on opposite side. So because of that, I prefer to have three players from the help side in offensive rebounds. In this moment, you move back here to protect fast break in opposite direction. Okay? Let's do like this. You shoot and all of you, let's go to catch offensive rebound. Do the same, please. Let's go, pop out after the screen. Everybody on, everybody on rebound, so you can see we have good positioning, so we have practically offensive rebounding triangle from three players on this side. Okay, He's, he missed all shots from outside. We must play something for him inside. Let's show this option. Option is like before. So I pass to him, set screen for him like before, back screen. When I receive the ball, you move back and set screen for him again. So just after the screen, you move back and you receive the ball. This is the four down. Under the basket is the same like before. Okay, let's go. When he pass back screen for you, immediately when you set screen, immediately turn and receive the screen for him. Okay, you just go fake under the basket and immediately go back to set screen for him. And you go from down. Let's go. So we play first, this is the first, he's two down, now it's good angle, again, stop now, who can help? Nobody can help. It's very good isolation for him under the basket, same situation again, let's do the same when I say stop, stop. Let's do the same, set screen, stay white, stay white here, stop, go, 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 go out, watch now. Nobody can help. If defense is over there, Pass the ball in corner, and he, you pass to him. We want to play for him. You are alone, you can receive the ball. Okay. If defense is on this side, pass ball to him. If you cannot pass, pass ball to him, and he is again alone under the basket. Okay, let's do just one more time this, please. Okay, let's go. Immediately go, immediately go back, immediately go back. It's not good timing. He don't need to wait. So it's four down. For him, under the basket, nobody can help because we want to do this. Why, uh, uh, one more reason why I insist to put the ball under the basket. For shooters, for players on position one, two, three, best way to shoot the ball is uh, on the back pass from the pivot. So in this situation, pass ball to him. Please pass ball to him, stay in the corner, stay here. So for them, it's too easy to shoot the ball when he passed the ball and he shoot, or when he passed the ball or when he passed the ball to him. So because of that, I insist on inside game when we want to play for player on position four. Okay, let's go back on the beginning. Just do one more time, but uh, try to catch good, good timing. So as soon as he pass, you must make screen. Immediately, when I receive the ball, I watch you just for one moment. I dribble, you make, he stay wide. Watch now. Nobody can help you stay wide or in the corner. Okay? Let's try to do just one more time, please. Let's go. So nobody can help. Very good, believe me. That, that works. Always. Always. So now... In the end, we must play something for him. So, simple drag offense. A lot of NBA teams play this. Steve Nash in Phoenix Suns, he played for several years with Stoudemire like this. So we start from the same position. Be there. Drag move. So set screen for me, a roll to the basket. I can pass the ball to him immediately, like this. Or pass ball to him and he can pass to him. Okay, no, no, we play for him. Or after the screen, I pass to him and he, he can pass, no, no, under the basket. Okay, let's try to do four, five. P, 
pick and roll, top of the key, pick and roll. Immediately after the screen, roll diagonally to the basket. You step up, you go in the corner. Okay, let's go. So immediately roll, stop now, watch now. Isolation for him, very simple, very good. They cannot switch because we play here one and five. If they switch, super easy job for us. So it's very important to understand this. Let's do one more time. One more time, you pass the ball to him immediately. Okay? Left hand, bounce pass to five. Okay, let's go. So it's very easy. Looks, looks very easy also when you play five against zero, but even against good defense works. Okay, next play for him. Next play for him, again, uh, I prefer to use screens between one and five. Like I show you now, if I want to play for him. Now, if you want to play one next offense for him, I pass to him, you move out in the corner, I make backdoor cut, pass the ball to four, and from this position, I just move back and set back straight for you, and you go this way, again, nobody can help, if they switch, it switch between one and five, okay? Let's do this for our time, please. Pass the ball to him, so, they cannot help, stop right now, if he can pass the ball. If defense switch, sometimes happened. Let's go, I will play defense on you. Do the same, do the same, but stop when you receive the ball. Okay, pass the ball to him. Okay, let's go over there. Let's go over there. Let's go over there, please. I'm switching here, so pass to him. Pass to him, watch now. It's one five, or five against one. He can do anything, he can, he can do anything against me. Okay, let's try to show this. So with two passes, four, two, one, and you pass the ball to five again. Okay, you stay wide on your position. Back screen for him, if they switch, just move flash cut to the ball. You are God, you are king under the basket, nobody can help on you. And one more option, or two more options for him. Uh, second situation, so we start to dribble, you go in the corner, you go to make screen for me, but from this side, step up screen, no, no, for me. Pick and roll here, and you go to set screen for five. So I dribble here, you open over there, go, go here. I pass to him, after that you set screen for two, so we have isolation for him again, very easy. I will show you again, one more time, you understand? So you make step up screen, and after that set screen for him, for two. Okay, we start to play, so go in the corner, now I dribble, I watch for him, pass to him, or pass to him, stay wide, again, four, five, or three, everybody can pass to him. So now pass the ball to him, and you pass to him. Okay, start quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go back, go back, so it's easy. Now move to two, two to four, and four to five. Start immediately, you. Stop now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is a good time. Stay wide. Stay wide. So you can see now how it's easy to organize something for him. Let's do the same. But now when you receive the ball, pass to three and you pass to five. Because we want ball for him under the basket. He is a god. So you can see now, pass the ball to him. Very easy for him. Okay. And one more option. Uh, for player on position five, we do the same like before for two. So you go in the corner, you dribble this side, first screen for him, second screen for him. Let's go, let's go over there. After the second screen, you roll here. Okay, and pass the ball to him immediately. Because probably the player who guards, players on player on position five, I will play defense on him. Let's do this, please. So probably I will go to help. So this is the moment when he leave me and when he receive the ball alone under the basket. Let's do one more time, please. Let's go, do the same. Roll to the basket immediately. Stop now. Stop now. When, if he received the ball, but he is not good position. Maybe he received the ball with defender over there. Stay over there. You, you come here. You are offense. During his one-on-one -on -one play, okay, we must do something. So in this moment, I think it's very good to set back screen or flare screen, you for you, and free for two. So he play, 
one against one, nobody can help because they play flare screen on the side, on right side, on the set, set. So receive the ball and try to find free play. Okay? Let's do one more time, please. But immediately, too, when you pass, immediately set screen and just change position. Stay white. All four players outside of the free point. So he make flash cut, he play, and we do, we do this, so he is allowed to play one on one, and nobody can help because they play this, uh, th these two options. Okay? One more time, please. Let's go. So sometimes I'm going to him, he received the ball, I'm here, I'm playing, I'm playing, he can pass the ball and they can receive the easy pass and shoot the ball. And one more easy option for him, in transition, please go back on the half court. Easy situation for transition, let's go everybody, you go in the corner, stop right now, dribble over there, five, you come here. Now, you come from this side, make set back screen for me. So, I watch here to ball, he set screen for me. Immediately some short offense can be immediately passed from one to five. In transition, when we run in transition. Let's go back, run everybody and try to pass score this. In this situation, of course, point guard has two options. You are left-handed. Best pass is off the dribble, low pass or bounce, bounce pass. Don't stop the dribble. Okay, let's go everybody. Let's go. Fake in the middle, five. Fake in the middle, fake in the middle. So it's very easy, especially because in this screen, defense, if they switch, immediately if they have mismatch, five free. Let's do one more time, please. Let's go. Okay, so. Uh, very good, guys. Very good. The applause for guys. They catch everything. Very good. Very good. So, going, going back to the beginning. Same initial positioning, just one word. After two or maximum three passes, we arrive in very good scoring uh, possibility for all five players. So, you can see for scouting, very, very tough to do something against because we always have one or two options. I think it's enough, because giving to the young players five options, too much trouble, you know. So, if they close you down screen, you go baseline cut. If they close, close you baseline cut, go on this side. Same situation for one, three, and five. For players on position one, on position one, for player on position one, of course, all options are outside. If you remember, player on position two, we have option inside, or two, op two or three options outside. For player on position three, same situation, inside, and two, position, two options outside. For four and five, of course, more, more inside than outside because their job is to play under the basket. So, starting with this, I remember again, using this kind of secondary offense, 63, 65% of all points scored in uh, 18 games, nine games in European Championship and ten games, uh, nine games in World Championship. 65% of the points we scored from that. 65, believe me. 10, 15% classical fast break, five free throws, and everything other some, from something different. So, but if you catch 65% from this, you are in good position. So. It's a lot of options, but like I told you before, I spoke with organizers, they will send to you all script with diagrams, so you will have everything pass by pass, game by game, play by play. I should be on the time. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope to see you tomorrow again. Thank you guys, because they were very good, really. No, it's very good.